party tonight with balloons and a cake. Because I love you. <laughs> Careful though, you don't want to hurt him. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. We all just... Please stop fussing. Some maniac stabbed you. It's hardly fussing. Come on, April. Come and make lunch. Do I have to go back to school after? Yes. <sighs> I'm sorry for all the stuff I said in the club. It was harsh and I shouldn't have gone that far. I don't know how much it means to hear that. I was only trying to make things right and get people off our backs. So I'm, I'm gutted about what happened. Right, April, go upstairs and play now. What's the latest? Well, we've brought Max Garrick in for questioning. How are you feeling, Ellis? Well enough for a chat now? Only we have reason to believe that you had an altercation with Max the other night. We've spoken to staff at the club and they've confirmed it. I understand the bouncers got involved? Uh, yeah, but I can't even remember what happened now. It was, uh, it was nothing major. OK. And uh, during the attack, do you remember anything about your assailant? Um, height, build, accent? Mm, no, nope, nothing, sorry. Mm. Mr Garrick's an associate of yours, isn't he? No, I've not seen him in a while. So you wouldn't know why he'd want to drive his car at your mum, would you? <sighs> well, perhaps Max can tell us. Max needs to pay for what he's done to my son. We are going through all the available CCTV from both inside and outside the club. I am confident that will turn something up. But if you start to remember something, call me. Yes. Look, go to the scrapyard and speak to Aaron Dingo. He saw everything that happened with Max and Ellis. Thanks. I'll swing by there on my way back. So Max drove a car at Mum. What are you doing? You late yourself. Ellis, take it easy. No, you said you'd sort it, but you've made it worse. You could have killed her. That was just a warning, which is why I've been trying so hard to cool things down. I warned him not to go to the police about it. We, we had to. We were all in danger, Billy. Well, now you've got him arrested, which makes us all a target. We already were. We're lucky that your brother didn't die. I had to protect our family, so I had no choice but to tell the police about Max. So this will keep Max in. Well, he won't get bail. When you stab someone, that's attempted murder, surely. Hello? Oh, dear Sanders, hi. OK, so what happens now? Sure. Thanks for letting me know. They've let Max go. What? No way, why? He's got an alibi. He met some mates outside the club. But if Max didn't do it, who the hell did? 